Hello, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What I have today is a large paper crafting haul or junk journaling haul. I've been collecting this stuff for quite a while. Some of it is from Hobby Lobby when they had that clearance. Some is from scrapbook.com, Simon Says Stamp, I believe, and some I thrifted. So let's hop into this wonderful paper crafting haul for junk journals. Okay, first of all, I'm preparing for Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to stand up so I can make sure I can get all this goodness in frame. Okay, this is Prima Marketing's Peppermint Collection. Look at this. Is this not to die for? I love it. So gorgeous. I'm kind of sick that I didn't get more. This is the back. Look at that. On the back of where this is, that beautiful strip. Oh, love it. So I've got this. Then I have this. Look at that. How beautiful that is. And then the back looks like this. And then look at these little cutouts. Look at all this adorableness. French sweet chocolate. Look at this. Oh, that little deer reminds me of Maggie with those ears. <laughs> this is such a vintage, like retro collection. I love it. And these almost look like they're glistening. Oh, gosh, I love it. Okay, and that little girl's adorable. This is on the back of this. Then I'm thinking, I'm tossing around in my mind, maybe doing um, an advent calendar. And when I saw this, I thought this would be beautiful. So I'm thinking about maybe doing something like that. We'll see. I don't know. But just look at all that beautifulness with the polka dots and then I picked up the ephemera you get 64 pieces in the peppermint collection okay so let's look at it here's all that you get but I've been waiting to open this with you all because I cannot stand it okay even the back of this look you could use that for a tag or something on that side. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these, I don't think they're stickers. They just seem like chipboard. A thin, like a thin paper really. Look at her. So retro. So perfect. Then you get two of her. Let me scoot you way down so you can see these better. Okay. Then you get this. And look how that's just kind of torn. Oh, I love it. Then you get these, North Pole. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Then St. Nicholas, two of everything, okay. Oh, check out this tree, how beautiful. With the little star on top. Oh, love it. Oh. <laughs> Look at this little mouse. Is she not precious? And she has like some berries in her hand. Oh my. Look at this mug. Too cute. Way too cute. I love it. Then here's some flowers. Just, oh, I love pink for Christmas from time to time. And look at that, look at that Santa. He is so, look at his face. So pretty. Okay, then we have this. Oh my goodness. He's got these glasses on there. Oh, look at these little gingerbread girls. So adorable. Then they give you two of these. Then this says gingerbread wishes and mistletoe kisses. Mm. 
Then you get this girl. Look how precious. Then you get these bells. So pretty. Then you get some more hot chocolate. It's going to make me want hot chocolate. <laughs> Look at that. So pretty. And they have like little holly or something around the edge. Ugh. Then look at these cookies. Beautiful. Then they have poinsettias. Or some people say poinsettias. I just say poinsettias. Look at this. Gorgeous. Oh, this is cute. This says, what does it say? Some opera. The scenes of ballet. Mmm. Love it. Then look at this tree. It's just green. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Then look at this, Santa. So beautiful. Then we get some more bells. Like I said, this is going to be a rather long video. But it's filled with fall and Christmas and other goodies. Then look at these packages. Ugh, oh, gorgeous. Then this is um, the Regents confections and I guess maybe candy. Look at that. So pretty. Then you get these little ornaments. Look how pretty they are. You get pink and you get red. Then you get Tis the Season, Making Spirits Bright, All is Bright, Two of those, you get two of all of them, and Merry Christmas. So that's everything in that collection. Oh, beyond obsessed, okay? Then I picked up this ephemera pack, and it is from Prima. And this, I don't know if it says which one this is. But it's cut, and once again, you could use this. Ugh, I love it when you can use your packaging. All right. I see a little heart. Look at that. These look so vintage. I love them. I really do love them. And then look at this, Santa. I just can't wait. For Christmas videos and like I said I'm going to be starting some fall look at this 25th isn't that beautiful and this is carriages Ugh. Ugh. then you get this and you get Merry Christmas you get a little tag isn't that pretty then you get these and a little bell and this little mouse. Then this is Christmas chimes. This one is nice. It's not my favorite. I like the other one better. Blouse pins on a tag. Then you get another some more hearts in pink and blue. You get another poinsettia. Look at that. <laughs> And then you get some candy right here, like peppermint candy and stars. Another tag. This is really cute. Look at that little dog. I just love vintage. I really do. And look at this little nutcracker. Oh. And then here is this Santa. Merry Christmas. I think you only get one of each thing in here. And Christmas greetings to you. Be great in journals or cards or whatever you wanted to do. And then some more of this. And then you get letter to Santa. Deliver to the North Pole. Okay. So that's everything that's in that one. Then, once again, I was still on this kick 
Um, this is the Prima Marketing. Now, this is the chipboard pieces. Oh, gosh. All right, look, look at all this. You get the Santa. You get the mouse. It's basically everything that I picked up in the paper, but in a heavy chipboard. And I got the little reindeer and the snowman. I'm so happy. That wreath is gorgeous. Look at that. Mm. So beautiful. So I love all of that. Then I got some paper. <laughs> this is Prima Marketing. This is the six by six. And it's double-sided. Let me put you down a little so you can see this better. I think this is really pretty. Look at all that. And then over here is that. So it looks like you get three page, oh, four pages of each. Then we have this with the little angels in the center. Really one angel. And that's the background. This is really pretty. Look at that. Mm, that is gorgeous. And then this is on the back of this. Just a bunch of goodies. Okay, then we go into this. I kind of wished I picked up the more, the other one. Um, I don't know if it's actually the peppermint collection or what. But, oh, I love it. And then, oh, this is different. It has, I think, yeah, it has the angels and Santa. And the back is this. It's really pretty. It just has Santa with his list. Then here is the little deer with some berries and holly. And then the back side looks like this. It's just deer. This is adorable. Santa and his list and the deer. And then a basket full of presents. And then the nutcracker is on the back with the candy and the bells. And this is this one. Just has a lot of pretty little items on there. You could, some of them are already in the shape of tags. And that's on the back of that. And that was all that was. Okay, so I like that. Then I went to Stamperia. I have just had so much fun. <laughs> like I said, it's been about, I don't know, several weeks. It may be like four weeks that I've been collecting this. This is the Romantic Collection Gear Up for Christmas. And I thought it was cute. Look at all this. Kind of steampunky, kind of not. Look at that little town. Well, it's definitely steampunk, but I love it. Look at this. And the Santa with all the toys. Oh, so pretty. I love the back of that. Then look at this. Such a really cute little mouse. So sophisticated. The magic of Christmas. That really does look like snow in there. Then here's Santa. He has a high-tech sleigh. <laughs> but look at that. Merry Christmas. Oh, I love these. Then here's the town. Silent Night. And then look at this little mouse getting everything ready for Christmas. I just think that's precious. And then, oh, look at this with the rocking horse. Then these are all the postcards and letters they've written to Santa. That's beautiful. Oh, another countdown, maybe. Look at that. Look at these snow globes. Oh, what I could do with those. Oh, and look at the back of them. Um, oh, and then these cards, little journaling cards. And then all these little fussy cuts. 
And there is Mrs. Claus. We finally see her. But look how cute that is. I love it. And then I picked on the picked up the rub-ons. I don't think I thought that I had the rub-ons. I thought that they were something else, but that'll be fine. It's really nice. I love everything that's on here. Okay. And that's all of Christmas. Now we'll go to fall. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and I loved it. It was $12.99. I did not get anything off of it. Um, I wish that I had, but I didn't. Let me open this. All right, are you ready for goodness? <laughs> Look at this. Is this not absolutely... And these are just single-sided, so I'll just keep them like this. This is gorgeous. And it has such a good feel to it. It almost feels like wallpaper. Ugh. You get three of these. Then look at this. Mmm. And this. Wish you could feel this. So nice. Oh, I love every page. It is gorgeous. And here is this. I love these color combinations. I think they would make beautiful pillows. <laughs> but look how gorgeous for cards, tags, journals. Look at this. Beautiful. This feels like very expensive paper. Then this is really pretty too. It's like a, it's kind of, well, I think it's like a bluish. I think this is kind of bluish pewter kind of on a black background. It's gorgeous. And look at this. I love it. I love fall. And then this. So gorgeous. And then this. Mm. Love this so much. Alright. Then I guess we will go to... Hobby Lobby's clearance, and then I'll show you what, oh, well, this isn't clearance. I saw this at Hobby Lobby, and I loved it. It's fall. It was $4.99, but 40% off. Look at that ribbon. It's in that really pretty golden, and then the burgundy, and then that orange and brown. And you get 30 feet of each collar, and they're 1 8 inch. Loved it. I thought it would be really pretty with some of that paper. Okay, this wasn't on clearance either, but I wanted to get some eyelets. And I heard a lot of people tell me that they get their eyelets at Hobby Lobby. So this was $1.99. I thought that would be really nice. So I picked that up. Then I picked these smaller eyelets up and they were $1.99. And then now this was the last thing that wasn't on sale. This is Tim Holtz Salvage Tags, $4.49. And I can never find them. So when I finally found them, I was hoping they would be on clearance, but they weren't. So I went ahead and got those. Now the rest of this is clearance until we get to what I've went thrifting for. Okay, I picked up some archival ink and coffee for $3.49. Then this paper studio chiffon ribbon was a dollar forty-nine. I loved the kind of dark blue and then that light blue. I love this stuff. And then I got some Ranger Oxide, the Distress Oxide in Mustard Seed, and it was $2.99. I hadn't, I didn't have that at all, so I picked that up. And then Paper Studio finally was on sale at my Hobby Lobby, $1.49. So I picked these leaves up. I thought they might be really pretty if I wanted to do either like a specimen card or something like that, but I picked those up, I love them. Then I also got this from the paper studio, $1.74, same principle with these. I thought I could use it for a lot of different things. Then these roses were beautiful, a dollar, I think that says 74. So, I just love the different colors of roses that you got, and they really look, especially these, are, I love them, okay? 
then I decided, I saw this cinch. I may have already hauled this. If I have, you'll have to forgive me. This was $2.74, and I thought, you know, I might need some more needle nose pliers, so why not get it while it's on sale? Then the Paper Studio had these keys for $1.24, and I thought, look how unusual those are. I can always use stuff like this. And then Tim Holtz, look at these big gears for $2.99, originally $5.99. I love that one cut in two. So I love me some gears. Then I picked up this, word tags, for $2.99. This just says wish, lucky, hope, found. And then that's a heart, XO, a star, and a two in different words, so I like that. Then this, 99 cents. I'm not really sure why I bought that, but I thought, you know, who knows what I might want to do with that. I thought it was real chunky and pretty and long. It's just adhesive gem strips. You get three pieces, so I picked that up, and then I thought this would be cute, maybe, from the Paper Studio, 74 cents, Maybe as a hang tag on a journal someday. You never know, so I picked that up. Now we'll get into what I thrifted. Okay, let me raise this up. Kind of scoot this over a little bit. All right, I can never find sheet music, okay? I just, I can never find it. So I got this for $5, this whole big book, and I loved it. So, and they do not smell, and I thought, oh, I could, and they look old. You know, they've got that yellowish, brownish tint, and I thought, well, I could either make copies so that I could save my original, or I could just tear it out, but look at all that goodness. So I'm set with my sheet music for a while. Then this book is Compton's Pictured Encyclopedia. This is B, okay? It was $10. I love how it looked. I could actually use this in my decor on the Magnolia Housewife. But I could also make copies out of this for this channel, Crafty Cards and Journals. Just look at all that. I just loved it. All the little pictures and different the writing. I didn't think that was bad at all, so I wanted to get that. Then I found the French Portrait of People, okay? And this was, it's from 1969. I don't know if I told you when this one was. This was 1941, this one, okay? So, but I love that. Once again, I can use this in the Magnolia Housewife decor and then just make copies of this. This is 1969. I think I told you that. But just look at that. Loved it. Then I picked this up, the New World Family Encyclopedia, Volume 6. And once again, I can use it in my decor for my other channel and then just make copies of this. This was 1954. But look in here. Look at all this. I loved it. I can do so much with all this. And I love the color of that paper. Then the last one I got, <laughs> this is really big. It's piloting, seamanship, and small boat handling. Chapman, okay? And this, I probably will just use for crafty cards and journals, okay? Uh, and it belonged to Captain Borison. But look at this. Oh. Morrison, okay. And this, I don't know, what's the date on this? 75 okay but this just has charts once again beautiful pages numbers that i love just all kinds of things it talks about weather look at that chart love it look at all this i just thought i could do so much with all this 
I mean, if you want to know anything about being a captain, it's in here. <laughs> but I thought it was really cute. And not a bad price. What did I pay for this? I think it was $10, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see a price. But I'm pretty sure it was $10. So that's everything that I found for my junk journal haul from craft stores and from online stores. Like I said, I think it was scrapbook.com. Um, might have been Simon Says Stamp, I'm not sure, and Hobby Lobby. So if you enjoyed this paper crafting haul, then like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay crafty.